Hi, this is Larry Zorro, Sivan, day four and five. The people of God were given a new commandment. They were told to sanctify themselves. Exodus 19.10 And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes. Are you ready for the rapture? Are you sanctified? That is, are you saved? Have you been washed? And are you ready for white robes that show our purity in Christ? 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. This is where God teaches us that it's better to have God cleanse us and wash us than by earthly cleansing that must be done over and over again. Mothers wash their children all the time. Mothers know that when they wash their kids, they do a far better job. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. The people of God were given ordinances that they should not go beyond bounds and approach the mount. Exodus chapter 19, verse 12. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to yourselves, that ye go not up into the mount, or touch the border of it. Whoso touches the mount shall be surely put to death. The unclean shall never approach God. Without holiness, no man shall see God. It takes the blood of Christ to become holy. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Through Christ we can approach God by faith. However, there is coming a day when we shall see him face to face and we shall be perfectly changed. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12. For now we see through a glass darkly but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. The children of God were commanded to wash their clothes. Sin is so abhorrent with God that to him it is like a contagion that oozes through the pores of our skin into our outer garments. Even the finest washing does not make us acceptable with God. After the fall of Adam and Eve, God made garments of skin and clothed their nakedness. Clean garments over our nakedness will do until salvation. Then God closes us with garments of righteousness. We can clean our clothes, but we will become dirty again. With Christ, your flesh is still dirty, but you are covered in a robe of grace. Isaiah 61 verse 10, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. Well, this is Larry Zorro. Take care and God bless.